In this video, I will show you the best ways you can get clients for your AI and automation agency, which is one of the best business models to start right now. Because businesses of all sizes want to leverage the power of AI to automate the processes in order to become more efficient by saving time and cutting costs. If you can be the one to do it for them, they are willing to pay a premium. So make sure you watch the entire video and even save it in your favorites because I will show you all the proven methods you can use to consistently attract new clients your AI and automation agency including one secret method that is by far the best one and for some reason I see nobody talking about so let's get started now these are the methods that most people tell you to use and as you can see there are actually five first we have freelance platforms which are platforms like Upwork and Fiverr where you can go over there and find jobs related to AI and automation then you also have cold email where you're basically setting up cold email campaigns and and marketing and sending emails to business owners pitching them your services then we have cold calling which is basically going over to google finding businesses phone numbers and then simply picking up your phone calling them and trying selling them on the phone then we also have dms they can be dms on instagram on linkedin or in any other social media platform and at last we have forums slash communities where you basically join a specific community or a forum and you create posts inside there trying to pitch your ai and automation services and we're going to go all over these methods along with a secret method that I will show you in the end of the video. So let's actually start with the freelance platforms, which are Upwork, Fiverr, and any other freelance platform that you want to add over here. Now, these platforms are actually very good for beginners, guys, because they take care of the mass amount of work that is needed to find a client. And what I mean by that is, in order to sell something to someone, you need to answer three questions. Because the first question they're going to have is, do I need this product or service? Then the second question they're going to ask is, do I need it now or do I need it in the future? And the third question is who am i going to get it from and what upwork fiverr and all of these platforms do guys is they basically take care of the first two because people that go in these platforms know that they need a service and they also know that they need it right now which means that you don't have to be the one that is answering these questions simply because upwork and fiverr has already done the answering for you all you have to do is to simply answer the third question which is who am i going to get it from where you basically need to display that you're the best possible person that can deliver them that service and in exchange for all of of this work they simply take one small cut of the profit which is usually around 10 percent which if you ask me in my opinion for all the work that they're doing answering these two questions for you basically filtering through the leads and finding people that need a service and they're ready to buy it right now it's a hundred percent worth it paying them this small fee so if you're a beginner freelance platforms are actually perfect to get started with and i do mean guys they are actually the best way a beginner can get his first paying client in the shortest amount of time possible since it is also very low cost because all you have to do is to simply go over there create a profile for free and then you simply need to buy some upward connects in order for you to be able to propose to different jobs which can cost you less than ten dollars so it's actually very low cost to get started with but the negative is that they're not very scalable because the client acquisition requires a lot of manual work from your end since you're basically going to have to be the one that's going to go every day and send proposals over to these jobs that's why it's very good for beginners but when you start getting some clients and start getting some traction then you will slowly start Start pivoting to the other models that are way more scalable which actually brings us all perfectly to the second way most people tell you to acquire customers which is with cold email and i do got to admit guys cold email was actually one of my favorite ways to get paying customers for your ai and automation agency since it is also very low cost but it is actually very scalable guys and just to get into specifics you will usually have to pay 47 dollars per month for instantly which is the software that most people tend to use when they create cold email campaigns and a few dollars per 1000 leads in order for you to be able to get leads from different databases and then you simply set up your email campaign and you just let it run on autopilot which means that it's not tied up to your time at all you simply set it up once and then it runs automatically in the background and now if this cost sounds a lot to you guys the 47 dollars per month what you can do is go and check out this video where i build a system that basically replaces instantly in an attempt completely for free i might add so make sure you go and check it out and give it a watch i will put it somewhere over here and now i want to go over the reasons i love cold email so much which the first one is it doesn't require you to be available at the same time with a person that you're reaching out to and what i mean by that guys is when you send over an email to a person the person doesn't have to be available
available at the same exact time in order for him to read it. He can read it in one hour, in two hours, in one day, two days, in one week if he wants to. So you basically don't have to sync your time in order for you to communicate, which is not the case with calling, for example, because when you cold call, you and the other person need to be available at the same exact time in order for you to be able to communicate. So that's definitely a very big plus of cold email. And it is also not tied up to your time, as I explained before, because you simply set it up once and then it runs completely on autopilot. Plus, it's also very scalable because all you have to do is to simply find some more leads, upload them over to instantly and scale up your campaign that way. Well, with a method like Upwork, in order for you to scale it, you need to put in more time in order for you to send more proposals. That's why cold email is actually my second favorite method of acquiring AI and automation clients. Second only to the secret method that I will show you at the end of this video. And now it's time we talk a little bit about cold calling. Now, the problem with cold calling is that it's tied up to your time. Save with Upwork. You need to be there manually calling people in order for you to communicate with them. You can set it up and have it running in the background. And it also requires the person to be available at the same time as you are. Because if you call someone and he doesn't pick the phone because he's not available at that specific time, you cannot actually communicate with them. But maybe he was actually interested in your services. He just wasn't available at that time because he was doing something else. So you actually end up missing out on a lot of people that otherwise would be interested in your services simply because they weren't available at the same time as you were. And also it's one to one and not one to many like cold email is which what that means is when you pick up the phone and call someone you're only talking to one person while with cold email you simply set up an email domain and you can email thousands of people every day if you have enough domains now to reach out to a hundred people with cold calling would actually take you a day while with cold email it would only take you the initial setup time and then you can reach thousands every single day that's why i like cold email this much and i'm not a very big fan of cold calling now cold calling does have some pros so i do want to mention them as well because it's actually more personal than cold email since you are actually talking to the person in real time they're more likely to trust you and they're more likely to buy than if they simply see an email from a person that they don't know but that still doesn't away all the negatives that's why i personally wouldn't recommend you to cold call at all because i think it's one of the worst methods to get clients in 2025 which also brings us over perfectly to our next reach out method which is dming people on platforms like instagram and linkedin and i do want to mention that this method is definitely better than cold calling but it is still tied up to your time because you still have to be the one that's going to go and send over all these dms and now you might say oh damien you can automate these dms guys if you automate dms on platforms like this you're going to get flagged immediately and your account is more than likely going to be suspended at least with the majority of the softwares that exist out there so i wouldn't advise you call dm people using their party softwares which if you don't do it obviously requires a lot of manual work as well because you have to be the one that is going to go and send over each one of these dms now there are some plus sites on cold DMing people because it also doesn't require you and the other person to be available at the same time because you can simply send over a DM to a person and he can see it one hour, two hours, one day after you actually send a message. So you don't have to sync your times in order for you to communicate with that potential client. But, and there is a big but over here guys, you actually need a good profile on the platforms that you're using called DM because if you're cold DMing from an Instagram page that doesn't have a profile picture and he's like 50 followers, nobody's going to take you seriously guys. Same with LinkedIn. If you're DMing from a brand new LinkedIn profile, again, nobody's going to take you seriously. So for this method to work, it requires you to have a good profile on these platforms, preferably with thousands of followers, so people can actually go on the page and see that you are the real deal and you actually have social proof. Because without it, you simply are not going to be taken seriously. So I don't think this is a good method, especially for beginners with weak social profiles. There are way better methods, in my opinion, that you can use. Which brings us on to another method that a lot of people tell you to do, which is to join forums slash communities make some posts in these communities and then advertise your services over there which in my opinion is one of the worst methods you can actually do to acquire customers because most people that try to do this method just spam and they provide no value they are only trying to get which is not going to land your client guys because in order for this method to work you will actually need to give a lot of free value first so you need to join a community or a forum and then create a lot of free posts giving a lot of free value which would build you a very good reputation inside the community and then eventually after a lot of time of creating this post you would actually be able to possibly get some clients from there but even then it would take a lot of time which would be better spent in other reach out methods and trust me guys it would actually be in my best benefit to tell you oh join a community because i have a school community so i could tell you hey join my school community create value posts over there and then you will get clients from there but it's not actually the truth guys simply because you have to provide this much free value upfront, and you're not even that likely to land a client from this community since the people that 
that go in these communities are not there to buy services, are there for the main purpose of the community. And when they see people trying to sell them things, they immediately flag them as spammers, and you could also possibly be banned from the community, since most communities and forums have very strict rules about self-promotion, so you're more than likely going to get banned as well, and all of your hard work of providing free value is going to go to waste. So that's why I think this is probably the second worst method after cold calling for getting your face paying AI and automation customer, which brings us on to the best method that for some reason I see nobody talking about guys, which is creating content on social media. Since in my opinion, content is by far the highest leverage and best method to get clients because if you create content and you build an audience, you're not going to be the one that is chasing the clients, the clients are going to come over to you and asking you to build them automations. But this is the hardest method where you're just starting out and I do want to point that out. This isn't like an easy method that you're going to get people coming over to you because it requires a lot of upfront investment. But it is also by far the most scalable out of all the reach out methods and it's completely not tied up to your time. Because think about it, you can create a video once and it can keep getting views for years to come, which means that you can keep getting new clients from a video that you did two years ago. And I promise you, you're not going to find any other method that does something even close to this. But, and there's a big but guys, succeeding with content is not actually easy, contrary to what some people might say. It does take a lot of time and work up front and when you start, you shouldn't expect to immediately get qualified leads and a lot of results. And that is because content will take more time to get up and running than all the other methods. But if you stick with it, it gives you far greater results in the future than all of the other methods can do combined. And if you're interested in learning about how you can create content specifically optimized for selling your AI and automation services, you can click the link in my description and come and check out my school community where I show you how to do exactly that with YouTube and with Instagram over here. Plus, I also show you how to sell AI and automation with the other two methods that I suggest you to do as a beginner, which is by using a freelance platform like Upwork and also by setting up cold email campaigns with Instantly. And I also just created a 100 day roadmap to which I tell you every day the exact actions that you need to do in order for you to find your first paying AI and automation customer by using all the four courses that I showed you before. And the best part is if you follow this program, I guarantee you that you're going to find your first paying AI and automation customer. And if I cannot keep that promise and you can show me proof that you actually did follow the program, and you did all the actions required, I will give you all of your money back guaranteed. So if you would be interested in this program, along with getting access to all of this content, plus getting access to an engaged community of 150 members that are interested in AI, and most importantly, making money with it, just like you want to do right now, make sure you click the link in the description and you come and check out my school community. And again, remember, you have nothing to lose since you have the money back guarantee if you don't manage to get your first paying customer within 100 days. But now YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this video in which I talk about the biggest mistake that beginners make when they first start out with an 810. So make sure you go and watch that next. And I will see you over there.